Today we're looking at a program that picks a random file from a directory. And there's a lot of uses for something like this. But I'm just going to show the general code rather than going into possible programs that use the uh, algorithm. And in order to show it, I have two read-only fields. The first one is uh, txt directory. And if you look at the read-only property, I have it set to true. And the second one is a picked file, which is txt picked file. And once again, the uh, read-only property is set to true. And then I have a button for uh, picking the directory initially, or use a folder browser dialog, so you can pick any file you want, or any directory you want. And a second button for picking the random file once the directory is selected. And you notice the pick random file, which is btn pick random file. The visibility is initially set to uh, false. And the reason for that is we don't want this button to become visible until the user has actually picked a directory. So if we look at the code behind for the uh, pick directory, I instantiate a folder browser dialog. Uh, FBD set it equal to new folder browser dialog with standard instantiation and then I use a show dialog to show the folder browser dialog and I check the return value and the system windows forms dialog result dot ok if it's equal to ok then the user has indeed picked a uh, a directory so I set a string variable equal to FBD dot selected path, which is the full path of that directory, and then I set that string value into the uh, read-only uh, text field we were looking at before that shows a directory, and then I create a directory object uh, that's global. It's defined up here, DI as directory info and I do a new directory info of this directory we just got from the user and then I use a uh, file info array dir files that's defined globally also and I do a di dot get files so I use the directory info object to get all the files on that directory and put it in an array of file info called dir files and then I set the pick random file button to visible because now that we actually have a directory and we have an array of the file names in that directory we now are able to do a random pick of a, a file and if we look at the uh, code behind for the pick random file basically I take the length of the array that we got from the first button which is uh, the number of file names in that directory and I put it in a local uh, int variable called uh, posvals for possible values and then we established a, a global random variable object based on the random class called r and on the int for uh, local variable rand pent rand pick I say r.next and I set 0 as the minimum possible value and the number of files in the directory as the maximum possible value. So this will pick a, a number that's a number within the array of, of file names that we got. And then I reference the file names array with the uh, index of the rand pick and then I reference the attribute of that uh, selected file name of name which is the short name of the file you can get full name to get the whole qualified name but we just want the short name we put that in a string variable and then we set the second text box equal to that string variable so if we uh, compile and run this program and pick a directory <coughs> uh, 
I don't know. I have a lot of files, so uh, that almost makes it more hard. Say we pick a directory of uh, Buffy the album. This is a collection of MP3s. And then I do a pick random file within this directory. I get strong.mp3, which is one of the songs on that directory. We do another random pick, we get Buffy theme.mp3. Another random pick, we get nothing but you.mp3 and so on. So as I say, this is just the raw algorithm. If you really want to use it for something useful, you want to build a program on top of the algorithm, but the algorithm itself is extremely useful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.